In this lesson, we're going to talk about positioning, specifically boat positioning around structure and cover. And again, we're going to use potholes as our example to talk about some of this. When it comes to boat positioning, there's a, a number of things that you need to consider um, any given day out on the water. And the first of those is, is obviously the structure that you're fishing. Hopefully you've gotten um, enough from this course that you understand the importance of, co of structure at potholes and how to use Google Earth to help you identify that structure. And then furthermore, how to mark and, and label that structure and get those things on your fish finding unit so that while you're on the water, you not only have a good visual of what's below, but you actually have have something right on your screen there that's that's laying out what's what's underwater. Same with the cover. A lot of the cover is, is going to be visible cover at potholes. But sometimes it's not visible until you're right on top of it, and sometimes that's too late. And keep in mind that you know, boat positioning is to fishing just like your uh, tree stand or other hunting location is uh, when you're when you're either big big game hunting or uh, bird hunting. Just as important is that you consider all those same ingredients when it comes to fishing. Just because you're not always aware and, and you can't always see that doesn't mean those things aren't important. So sometimes I liken it to when you when you go hunting and it's visibility is not the best. Either it's getting dark or uh, it's foggy, it's rainy. Your visibility is, is not really conducive to seeing what you're doing. And, and that's kind of your situation all the time when you're fishing. But just like when you're hunting and, and there's a thick fog bank, that doesn't mean that what's out there in terms of cover and structure for for the deer or elk that stuff's still there and still important okay lot another parallel with hunting is that wind and fishing is is very important not so much from the yeah, breezy it's still easier to move into the wind and stuff it's kind of a little bit of pain to cast boat control wise always better to move into the wind of shadows uh, in many many cases you want to try to minimize your own shadow off the water and keep that in mind sometimes when you're when you're visibly trying to see into the water uh, it's best to have the the sun at your back and of course that's going to create shadows so you kind of have to balance those things and and then the aspect of the sun that is there's a certain portion of structure covers it south facing is it north facing? What's that angle of the sun in the sky early in the season versus later on? I know we've talked about and looked at that that particular issue quite a bit. And then most of the time you're you're probably fishing with somebody, whether it's a just a fun outing uh, or a tournament situation. You you probably have a partner with you, and so you can definitely make their enjoyment of the day. Uh, better or worse by how you position the boat you can benefit you know two of you can work together based off of boat positioning or you can kind of you know work against each other and be in each other's way so those are all important considerations one other thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at how the bow tracks how we can use those bow tracks to establish an outline of structure or cover and we're going to use a uh, a prototypical dune top called DT1 is our example. And so I'm going to show you some different uh, images, both Google Earth and on the water images of how to navigate um, DT1. And then also uh, in another area that has a lot of beaver activity and kind of talk about how that plays into um, a dune top, you know, the, the beaver hut ecosystem how it intersects with the dune top ecosystem so we'll look at that as another example as well this is our uh, our DT1 example we'll show you some different images of this this is uh, 
if you think back to our one of our earlier lessons this is a, a dune top that's just out of the treed flats actually we have kind of treed flats going going in uh, many different directions off of this and so this DT1 is is a prime example of uh, what we're looking for this is an overhead shot from a drone of DT1 and you can see the actual uh, dune top laid out right here and you can see this this actual break line on the top of this dune is relatively barren barren but you've got some thick willows around the outside of the dune top this is our bow track that we <clears throat> we made of DT1 so this bow track would go on our bow GPS unit and we talked about that how to make those tracks and how to get those on your bow unit this is uh, DT1 when in the September image and so you see we've got our our deep water All around it the more the more sides you can add to a dune top that have deep water access the better this one really I've got I've got two sides here I've got one side to the north one side to the south the other important thing is I've got a beaver hut over here and you can see the bank is all tore up with beaver activity on the side here so I've got several elements going back to that very first lesson we've got several elements mixing in here deep water access beaver activity a clean beaver hut with some scattered planter box style willows this is a, a, a staging area right outside of some of the treed flats in making these track lines we talked about access points here placing a, a waypoint on one corner of the dune top and so you know you can approach that waypoint and then continue and, and work along I have this reference of the dune top outline on my bow unit around these things and, and very subtle things and how to maneuver and always put yourself where your casts are, are not just random casts but they're well-placed casts and you're being productive and efficient this next little hundred yard piece here is I think really important It's always consistently produced for us. This is where those beer runs kind of cut up in here pretty close to this. Right off to our right is this dune top. Now we get into where some of this beer runs cutting right up next to some wood cover. So we got south facing beaver run channels some dead wood and willow mixed in cover we can just get shoulder to shoulder and Ryan can pitch up in there I could work this swim jig right parallel with it
you.